This podcast contains spoilers. <laughs> What's up, everyone? And I don't know what that intro was. I am your host, Dom. <laughs> And this is Gallivant miniseries, uh, episode one pilot, and episode two joust friends. Uh, with me are my co-host Cleo. I sneezed all over my game. <laughs> Heather. <laughs> and uh, Opera Man Mike. My terrible voice while sick, making people sneeze on their keyboards <laughs> since five minutes ago. Oh dear, how how are you guys today good it is it's good to be back yeah we had uh we had a nice winter break and uh we come <laughs> back to gallivant <laughs> uh so uh okay. yeah so initial <laughs> just over the notes. initial uh initial thoughts i love it on a hero's journey it's fucking great amazing I, I, I wish was, my throat wasn't screwed up so I could actually sing something. <laughs> it's really hilarious. I was it uh is. I was super impressed with uh <laughs> this. The little little nitpicks here and there. Uh one of which I think me and Mike share the uh the same feeling on was the uh the intro of the song compared to the five minute preview that we previously saw was slightly edited. Yeah. Um it what seemed like it was PG ified a little bit. Um, the original line in the opening song was, yeah. uh, something, something, Mike knows the whole song, he could sing it. Uh, from, from the bedroom. I forget what they changed it to, I know I, the I know little... what they changed it to, but, what, what was it originally? Just a, t more than just a touch of, touch of nymphomania. Yes. yes. Uh, and something, something, three times and even ten. Oh yeah, they you know, oh, okay. all day long he'd you know what her. Then they'd you know what again three times or even ten. Yeah, yeah. So th that when I saw that line in the preview, like that, I I literally burst out laughing when I watched that, <laughs> and I was like, that is amazing. And when what they changed it to, um, and they changed a, a few other lines in it. Um, the the line when you first meet Madalena, um, was changed a little bit. Um. And that part of the song, I believe, was changed better. It, it suited the song better. But I, I like the, the you-know-what again, three times or even ten. I think that line was even better, and I'm, I'm really sad that they changed that. And uh, it seemed also that they <coughs> emphasized butt clencher um, <laughs> in this version as opposed to the, uh, the other one, which I think was hilarious in this version, so... I was super impressed. I, guess I only ever saw like 15, 30 second spots. So oh I yeah, there was there was a five exactly. minute spot. There that, was, uh, and it was. Yeah. It was basically yeah. the Fantastic. intro. It, yeah. was, it was it was it was the first two minutes. It was mm -hmm. up to the point where um, King Richard like did that soft little kick to his face. Yeah. And then it cut to the <laughs> okay. the end of the episode where with the finale of the song. Um, I I just want to oh. say ABC's little stunt where last night every commercial for one of their shows that was playing where they sang it in the Galavat voice. That was, was amazing. amazing. That, was, that was one of the few times that I'm fast forwarding <laughs> through my DVR and I'm like, wait, an ABC commercial? Stop. <laughs> rewind. Like, <laughs> like yeah, they even made revenge that. seem happy. Yeah. Yeah. I would have missed, uh, would have missed those if I had a DVR because I would have just gone right, right past them, but I, we... I just watched it on watched the band. So, like, I was forced to watch it. I'm like, I really, I don't mind. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> oh, it yeah. was incredible. That was the best part of the commercials. Was yeah. everything <laughs> was sung as Gallivant. Um, it was, it was great. Yeah, they did all like Even shows the that made sense, and then they did Revenge, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> It even made <laughs> The Bachelor look interesting. <laughs> they did Revenge, and I was like, because I've watched Revenge. I watched like the first two seasons of it. And I was like, they made this show look happy for a second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not. I don't think that's how that. You show can't goes do out. that to revenge. <laughs> it, what else was on there? There was there was revenge. Bachelor. There was um. All of their comedies. Yeah, all their com their new comedies. Um, 
Fresh Off the Boat was one of them. Yeah. Um, Blackish was one of them. Was it Meet in the Middle was middle. one of them? Yeah. Whatever it is. Bachelor. Whatever the fuck and... one with uh, Tim the Toolman Taylor. Yeah. And I think wife. that was just like a... Was, is he actually in a thing or is that... Because I don't yeah, watch a lot of that show. stuff. Yeah, that's his show. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's and it pulls in uh his wife or whatever mm-hmm. from like Tool Time, you know, whatever that was. And she's guest starring in like this one episode and they made some funny remarks. But it was just funny the way it came out in the song, you know. It's just it, it, I oh, loved yeah. it. It's great. But uh Yeah, so all right, so what did you guys think of Gallivant himself? Joshua how do you pronounce his last name? Is it Sace? Sassy. Sassy? Sassy. <laughs> Sassy. No, he this reminds is not me in the beginning. Homeward bound. In the beginning, he reminds me a lot, and this is gonna be funny because we just watched that video of Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He really does. He's very pompous, very, very thick-headed. You know, has one thing on his mind and one thing only. Mm-hmm. Um, Madalena. Yes. <laughs> that booty. That booty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, she's a bitch. That she's more s- too. more so of a bitch than I thought she would be. Yeah, Madeline, yeah. I don't I don't know like I don't know what he sees in her at this point. Like she's, they're making her out to be this she's more of a villain than King Richard at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Well she, I'm not sure that Gal well, I guess Galavant doesn't want her back, but he you know, when you lose a love and you're like, Oh, they were great, why the did I fuck that up? Hmm. You, you can imagine if that's ever happened, but yeah. yeah, she did not. I mean, from the the way they portrayed her before she was taken by King Richard, she seemed decent. It's, it's, right. You're sort of like what? Huh? I, I, well, I think, she she seemed like a blank cool slate. Thing. There you go. Like she was. I could see how her she was just playing Galvant or wasn't as intimate as Galvant, but Galvant just projected feelings. Like, he had the feelings for her, so he just was like, she feels the same way about me, I'm sure, without there ever being an acknowledgement of that. So it was just something we didn't never saw. Yeah. And am I frozen? Um, let it go. Yes. But... <laughs> God. <laughs> or my, my snowflakes are on my corkboard. I can't throw my snowflakes at you. <laughs> throw your snowflakes at him. Yeah. Um, so, what do you what do you guys think of King Richard? I love. I will him. never. If they ever bring Kane back to Supernatural, I'll never be able to look at him with a straight face. I love him. Oh my god. He's a giant man child. I love it. He is. It's so, so amazing. Beautiful. I love him trying to kick Gallivant. He's just like, I'll give you it, Gareth. Mm-hmm. Oh, please, Gareth, would you just do that for me? <laughs> I, I still my favorite scene is still when he's getting fork fed I don't like it take it out take it out <laughs> fat. this fat on this piece this fat on this piece I don't like it take it out take it out take it out what I just uh, yeah oh there's snow <laughs> I need to go find my umbrella <laughs> well, my stuff's gonna get wet no my laptop just just turn your snow powers off it's not me. <laughs> Find love, Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You're killing me here. Maybe, maybe it's the uh, the snow queen. Maybe it's the snow queen, not me. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Uh, how about Vinnie Jones, who played uh, Gareth? Another person I'll never be able to see. Uh, the movie I like. I give her again. <laughs> Jones is right. Vinnie Jones is, as always, perfect. <laughs> He plays he plays some of my favorite characters in movies that I've seen throughout my life. Yeah. Just coming out of two off the top of my head. Gone in sixty seconds, he plays the mute guy Sphinx, mm-hmm. who isn't mute. And then in Eurotrip, he plays the angry soccer fan, who is the <laughs> yes. best character in yes. the whole yes. fucking movie. Whenever yeah. I think Vinny Jones, I go to Lock Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Yes, that's see too. him smashing someone's face into a car door. <laughs> Scotty doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't. Um, what about uh, John Stamos's guest star as uh, Sir John Hamm? That, that was, was a great. shock. Sir so John Hamm was great. 
I saw him in one of the commercials, so it wasn't shock to me. But when right. he like took his helmet off, I was like, oh yeah, there he is. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> It was a nice little slide in there, a nice little surprise. Mm-hmm. At least for those that didn't sit there and watch every single trailer that came out and every I, single preview like we did. Yeah, I watched every. I even watched the making of before it came out. So yeah. I watched a bit of that too. Yep. Yeah. Um, and finally, the last major character is uh, Princess Isabella Maria Lucia Elizabella. <laughs> Um, Elizabeta. Elizabeta. Elizabeta of Valencia. Uh, what did you think about her? I think she's great. Yeah. Portrayed by uh, Karen David. She's yeah. really, she's really funny. She I love so snarky. I love yeah. her training, Gallivant. Mm. What is the like point of this? Stage, like, I can't, I can't move, I can't move my arms. <laughs> Maybe think like, of the opening. How did you get up there? They were training. While they were training, I'm like, oh, it's a one-day training montage, one of those. <laughs> you can overtrain, and then you can't do anything the next day, and then that happened. I was like, oh. That's what I thought watching it. I'm like, wait, you're going to tell me you're going to do this in a day? You can't get – he's been out of commission for like a year. There's no way this is going to work. He said he put on 20 pounds. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> he didn't look like think he of, the pound. It made me yeah. think of the training montage in A Knight's Tale. Yeah, before yes. Heath Ledger joust yes. the first time. I'm I like, think that's exactly, exactly what, what they were making fun of. The exact yes. thing. Yes. Yeah. And I loved... I, I thought at first it was a slow motion scene of the, the joust. <laughs> but then you're watching yes. the crowd in real time oh. looking at it like, um... What? <laughs> and it, it, it's totally not slow motion. My mom looked over from the other room while I was watching that scene because as they were coming slowly with the horses, I was laughing like a maniac. And my mom was just looking over like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> the winner is the first one to get to their feet. <laughs> I'm watching John Stamos try to kick, you know, his way up. And I'm like, you're not going <laughs> to kick yourself in full plate. <laughs> Even though it is fake, but still. Oh my god! What about uh, when John Samos, Sir John Hamma, just puked out of his helmet? That's my favorite part. What is this? It's absinthe. Don't worry, it's not strong. It's just such a strange, oh like green, milky substance. Stop! Stop! Stop. <laughs> it was I like can't do it. it wasn't green. It was more like Stop. like yellow yeah. pussy kind uh, yes. of. Yes. <laughs> 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 you know I can't. <laughs> you know I can't. <laughs> when it's a gross shit on the screen, I just I don't have the stomach for it right now. It looked yeah, like a no milkshake. I... Shut up. <laughs> Please shut up. <laughs> Fine. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god! So um, we left we we left out Sid. Sid, Sid, who? Which one was Sid again? Sid is the squire. It's the squire. Who announced, yes. Who announced Princess Isabella Maria Lucia Elizabeth? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the squire. He was great. Kept messing up Elizabeth. Really sassy. Elizabella Elizabeth. Elizabeth. She's sassy and he's overly ha- overly happy. Mm. Yes. He's way too happy. Yep. Um. So, out of all the the songs, we we got mm-hmm. like what four different songs? I think it was. Yeah. Out of, out of the four different songs, and which one? Yeah, which one was your guys' favorite? Where the king and Gareth are dancing around the throne room. That one's great. Yes. See, I like I... the the interaction on that song more than the song. Yeah. Like there, yeah. like when he just took the cook and he was like dancing with him, and then he just threw him off the screen. <laughs> like, I I had a nice chuckle. He so, dips the noble woman down and then and just drops, drops her. her. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> so so I'm gonna be the bad guy. Dom, what was your favorite song? Off on a hero's journey. <laughs> off on a hero's journey. <laughs> Yeah. I I think um, uh, as much as I like the the King song, I like the one where they're like, "You're not the worst thing ever." Mm-hmm. <laughs> that yeah, that one, one that one made me laugh because I like how it's this is sort of that hero's journey, but they're putting spins on it. Like 
the princess who got kidnapped was sort of like, yeah, I kind of want the fame and fortune. I'll, I'll, you know, I willingly marry him now, even after I've got kidnapped. And yeah. And then you have, like, the damsel in distress who's coming to the hero for aid is actually... It's actually playing him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of cool. And then mm -hmm. you have King Richard the tyrant who's who's actually not that bad of a guy. He's well, only a tyrant he because of her. Yeah. I mean, he is, but he's not. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if it wasn't yeah. if it wasn't for his guard... Um, what was his guard's name? Gareth. 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 It, if it wasn't for Gareth... Um, then he wouldn't really be able to do anything. Yeah, I mean, he strikes me more as like a King Louis of France than a uh, <laughs> than a, a Prince John. Of yeah, you just you tell him a good idea, and he's like, "That sounds wonderful. Let's do it." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's self entitled. Oh, like requires money. Would be All bought. right, there's money. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, he's you even saw exactly when he tried to kick Gallivant in the face. Yeah, he like yeah. slapped. It was like slapping him with a wet fish. Not even. <laughs> oh, just take care of it, Gareth. <laughs> oh, Gareth, would you just do that for me? I think the opening song was probably musically the best of all of them. That was um, my favorite one. Yeah. But it's also been overdone in like every advertisement. Um, because not got... only it was in Gallivant's advertisement, but that was the 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 music that they put all of the extra right. ABC ones. Yes. And by the time all the ABC songs yeah. were done, it kind of like. It, it lessened the effect by the time it came to the the final reprise in the first first half of the or it did. episode. You know, the end of the episode where it's revealed that the uh, the singer is actually the jester, um, which which was really cool. But um, fucking jester. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is Can your... we talk about the your mama jokes, though? Oh, my God. <laughs> the your mama jokes. Oh, my God. John Hamm. Your mama. <laughs> your mama. Because it's but like... But let's face it. What in the 90s and early 2000s, we all knew someone who was, like, clinging to those jokes. It's like, they're dead, guys. Just... Yeah, what year did he say it was? I don't even know. It's 1256. It's 1256. The your mama jokes are old. Just like your mama. Don't say it. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> we're so the, the jokes were so corny and so cheesy that they, they were. were amazing. They were. Yeah. That was, but they fit. This is one hundred percent the best part. Is yeah. Like, I, I just love like, this humor. I love this humor because the they don't take themselves all. serious. No. No. Right. The humor and I mean, the entire show is so terrible that right. it's hilarious and i love it and they they just they talk like in they use the words we would use like he he mentions genetics and i just went like there there wasn't such a thing in you know 12 whatever right right <laughs> but I, I love that he used um that uh we are all very passionate lovers it's just it's our it's our genetics yeah. that, that is <laughs> That is the farthest thing from a genetic trait that you can, you can have, you know. Right. But maybe that was their understanding of genetics in 1256. Ooh. Yeah, that's true. Maybe. I mean, I guess it, it comes down to, like, we still have phrases today, like, um, oh, racing is in our blood. Like, there's, there's no such thing as you're, you're not right. genetically, you know, altered to be a good racer. You right, know? just no, because you're your just... daddy can race doesn't mean you're going to. Yeah, exactly. But you if you might... spent your whole life viewing the sport and are brought up around those circles, you might actually develop a knack for it. Right, but right. that has nothing then, to do with genetics. But right. then also, if you're if you're if you consider love to be something like something you get addicted to, like alcohol, alcoholism mm -hmm. does run in families. Right. So. Sir, so, like yes, but that's more of an addiction. Yeah. 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 You, you have a, you have a more likelihood of becoming an alcoholic there are people in your family who are most of the men on my dad's side of the family are mechanics that does not run in our blood it just so happens that you grow <laughs> up around people turning wrenches you learn how to turn a wrench right yes so right yep um so who's your guys uh favorite character through the whole tie between the king and oh my kids. god i'm the so king. sorry i was trying to figure out who sid reminded me of he played lee jordan in the first two harry potter movies oh okay. yeah interesting <laughs> Did. He's Lee Jordan in the Harry Potter movies. Oh my god. 
Like, and then I, I know, know Lee Jordan, one of those characters that they erased out of the movies after a certain yeah. point. Mm. He just disappeared. He never came back. I had a moment. Well, yeah. So who's your guys' favorite character? Heather, who's your favorite character? The king. King Richard? Yes. Timothy Ott. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce his last name. Amundsen. 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 Yeah. Amundsen. I've been saying his name wrong for a long time. I yeah, can't I, help it. Every time I speak his name, I pronounce it differently. I can't Amundsen. help it. Like, like I, I just, I, there's something about him. And and I've like, been a big fan of his since, like, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and having him come on as Kane in Supernatural for yes. one or two episodes he was in was was phenomenal, yeah. and I, I want him to come back on that, but... Every role he plays is, you know, it's got a tiny he, he hint owns. of himself in it, and and that's what keeps me, you know, going with yeah, it. And he, he owns every single role he, he plays, he does. and he does an amazing job, and he does great at making himself look like an idiot. So, <laughs> yeah, talented actor. Yeah, uh, very good, very good. So uh, definitely, definitely. My favorite. Cleo, who's your favorite character? Um, I really like Isabella. Yeah, Isabella, Maria, Lucia, Maria, Elizabeth, Lucia, Valen Elizabetta. Valencia. That. Valencia. I'll never be able to say that properly. Me neither. Probably not. I don't think any but her, anyone but her is going to be able to say it <laughs> Probably Sid not. Real I, close probably up. she can't even get it right. Yeah. yeah. I, and I that's like Sid too. I wish Sid had a bigger part. That's mm. like Ed from Cowboy Bebop. You just, you just don't ever say the full name. Yeah. Mike, who's your favorite character? It's tied between Gareth and the King. Yeah. Well, why do you like Gareth so much? I love that actor. I'm sorry. It, <laughs> it doesn't matter what he plays. He he's another good actor because he, you know, he's he is. played so many different roles. I'm he's trying to think of the role that I remember him the most from, and it, it, something along the lines of like. Um, was he in the transporter or something like that? I feel like he was in one of those kind of movies. Was in Snatch? Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't see Snatch. He was uh -huh. in Gone in sixty seconds. That I know for sure. Yeah, I, it's, I feel something more yes, recent. Yes, he was in Snatch. Um, something more recent that was like an action kind of movie. That... I'm looking through he right the now. The exact Hold same on. role that he played in Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. <laughs> yeah. Um, the scenes were shot for shot. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm going to have to go. My favorite character uh, was the cook. Oh, yeah, the cook. I forgot about him. The cook was just so yeah, great. Yeah. You killed my father. <laughs> You've killed the last oh, four like generations of cooks in my family. <laughs> oh, I'm such a bully. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. The cook reminds me of... Um, Oh, from ah. Monty Python, the Quest for the Holy Grail, the the, mm -hmm. the prince in the tower. Yes, yes. His father yeah. doesn't want him to sing. That's another part. Vinnie Jones also played Juggernaut in the Bad X Man. Yeah. X -Man. Oh, I know where I, I know where I know him from. I know I him from the, the TV that. show Elementary. That's yes, where I know he was him in from. a couple of ep episodes elementary? of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. That's he was in right. an episode of Psych too. Yeah, he was. That's where a lot of people in this show. Yep. I'm out of tea. That makes me sad. So, how do you think um, Princess Isabella Maria Lucia Elizabetta Valencia uh, is gonna? Uh, I guess take it when when Gallivant finds out she's lying. Um, I think the better question is uh, how is Gallivant gonna take it when he finds yeah, out? Yeah, no, uh, but we already know that he's gonna be he's gonna be vicious about it. Yeah, but we don't know if he's going to fall apart the same way he fell apart when, um, M M M what's her name? Madalena. Madalena. Madalena left him. Or if he's going to be, I don't know, less of a wuss about it. But is he falling yeah. for her? I don't think he is. Not yet. Give it uh, time. Yeah, maybe not yet. Give it time. They don't hate each yet, other. Though. You're not the worst thing ever. <laughs> So, by the end of this, do you think he's going to tell Madalena to go screw off? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. He's, it's probably well, going to... Go ahead. Oh, she's having a character development, too, because she's ha having feelings for Richard. 
We're gonna put those in quotation marks. <laughs> she's having feelings for the jester. Feeling? <laughs> no, she's having oh. sex with the jester. It's two different things. Oh, jester. Two different things. Come over here. And do, what, do what you're she good knows. at, jester. Huh. I have a knock, feeling. Knock, knock. No, not that. <laughs> yeah, just like. I have a feeling that Galavant's gonna take on the typical stereotype of storyline for this kind of thing, you know, where Galavant is going to fall for Isabella. Yeah. You know, at some point in time, mm-hmm. between mm-hmm. now and the end, you know, and you mean Isabella, Maria, his... Lucia, Elizabeth. Yeah, her. Um, and okay, come on, you're lucky I even remembered Isabella. This is me. Maria, Lucia, yeah. Isabella. Anyways, but you know, and then I think she will be his little shining moment of, oh, who's Madalena? Probably. Yeah. See, yeah. I think I it's think it's probably Sid, not going to be that easy, though. I no. think Sid's going to fall for Princess El- Elizabeth, Maria, Lucia, Elizabeth, Valencia. I don't think so. No. 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 Maybe Sid will get stuck with Madalena. No, Maybe. I think Madalena's gonna gonna find she doesn't, you know, hate Richard. I think she's already feeling it. The way she was looking at him from across the table during dinner time, it's there. It's growing. Which, which dinner time? There's the second one. <laughs> second one. The second one. Especially when she walks away, because she had to force out those lines about nobody loving him mm-hmm. and when he, mm-hmm. she turned around to walk away she was like she looked like she had some regret in what she yeah. said yeah so um outside of that I, I don't know you have anything uh, else you guys want to talk about nothing I can think of actually Mm-mm. Oh, there was a sign while they were traveling, and it said, I forgot what oh, it said. Oh, it said Winterfell. The, it the said actual city, Winterfell. Valencia, Winterfell, hell. hell. That was really funny. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of little things, that little attention to detail things that were pretty entertaining. Yeah. If you caught them. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you caught them. If you caught them. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm I'm really excited. I know that um, uh, eventually we're going to get Weird Al as a guest, guest star. Uh, he's going to be playing a monk. I can't wait to see that. That's going to be incredible. Yes. Um, there's some other guest stars coming up. I know in the next next week, uh, in episodes three and four, we're going to get uh, Faith Prince and Hugh Bonneville. Uh, they're going to guest star. So that's going to be uh, super exciting. But um, So next week, we're getting episodes three and four. Uh called uh, Two Balls, and uh, <laughs> episode four is Comedy Gold. Comedy um, Gold. Two Balls. So is it, it's two episodes per... Two episodes per week for four weeks. Right. Yeah. So, um, this is basically the mid-season gap filler for Once Upon a Time. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it says, uh, Sid returns home and learns an important lesson while Gallivant, Isabella, and Sid meet up with an unlikely group of pirates. Yar. Yar. So I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see pirates in this this world. It's gonna Yay. be interesting. I love pirates. I mean, pirates are already known for their songs, so this one's gonna be epic. <laughs> I'm excited. I love pirates. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, Cleo, any uh, final thoughts? It's really good. It's really good. Heather, final thoughts. It needs to go on longer. <laughs> it does. It really does. It really does. Yeah, I'm hoping that this gets picked up every year for like a four episode kind of, you know, or eight episodes technically, but a four week, you know, break. We don't know anything other than this is just a four week miniseries that's airing now. We don't know if they're going to ever carry it on or if this is self contained. I think right now the plan is it's self contained. Um,. But who knows, this may get popular enough. I know it's got mixed reviews at this point, um, but this kind of humor always is going to have that. It's one of those kind of, that you either love it or you hate it. So Yeah, you're going to get some really high artsy type who's going to be like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. And, yeah. Stuff like that. 
Yep. So, uh, outside of that, I believe uh, we're done. Um, Shiny? Yeah. Uh, Cleo, where can the people find you? They can find me at Cleo Moto. Lots of places. Lots of places? We're Many snowing, places. Right? Yes. Heather, where can the people find you? Interwebs. Chronixia. Oh. Nice. Uh, Mike, where can the people find you? Also, interwebs, mostly Twitter. Siladrin, right there. See? No, I don't see. <laughs> you can find me down below at Phenomenon. P H E N O M E D O M. Phenomenon. Phenomenon. You missed it, Dom. You know you did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this show when it goes off the air. That's I know. Show. We all are. I uh, just ripped my pants. Until next week. <laughs> <sighs> We're off on a hero's journey. Yeah. Off on a hero's journey. Uh, off on a hero's journey. I've got this hole in my pants that my head could fit through. Where the hell did this come from? Oh, I did that last week. <laughs> what the fuck did I do? I think I rolled over my my pants.